Welcome to the studio of Simplified EGD, your go-to learning space for mastering engineering graphics and design. Regular polygon by universal math. So, from the title, we will take near about 15 centimeter distance. Then, to draw a straight line, align the roller scale with edge, roll, and draw a line that should be 40 mm long. Give name A, B. A, B line is 40 mm long. Now, draw the bisector of AB line, take more than a half of AB, draw arc on both sides from A as well as from point B. <coughs> draw a line from intersection of arcs. Now, take a 90 degree angle from point B. Draw 90 degree at P, B point. From this arc, draw one arc from B. From the intersection of arc, draw another arc. That will give us 60 degree. Another arc will give, you us, give us 120. And bisector of 60 and 120, that will give us 90 degree angle. <coughs> Take a measurement of AB and draw arc that will intersect here at point C. Draw a straight line that connect A and C point. Here this arc and this straight line intersecting this bisector give the name so point number 4 and point number 6. Now, now draw the bisector of this 4 and 6. Take a measurement of 4 to 6. Draw arc on both sides from 4 and draw arc from 6 on both sides. Draw a line passing through that intersecting arcs. Here, this line intersect the bisector, give the name as point number 5. <clears throat> now take a measurement from 4 to 5. From 4, draw arc on the bisector that will give us point number 3. By giving the same measurement from 4 to 5 or 5 to 6. You can draw another arc from point 6 that will give us 7 number point and from 7, 8 number point. Give numbering 7 and 8. Now, keep the 3 point as a center. Take a measurement up to point A. And draw a circle. Now, take a measurement of AB, draw arc on a circle, this arc should be on point 6 as well as from the point as you have drawn the circle, it will be passed through the point number 6. Here AB measurement is passing from point 6. Now you can see from that 6 point you can draw R on B now it is created a closed loop connect all the arcs you 
it will give you a triangle now from point 4 take a measurement from 4 to A draw a circle this circle should be passed through point number C now take a measurement of AB again, again draw arc on a circle from the first circle draw another arc from the first arc draw another arc from that arc another arc that will close the loop now connect all the arcs this will make square from 3 we got, we got triangle from the point 4 we got square now from the point 5 we will get pentagon take a measurement from A to 5 draw a circle then again take a measurement of AB draw arc on the circle from the first arc draw another arc for the odd number all the arc will be on your bisector then next arc then next arc should be completed on point B now connect all the arcs this will give us pentagon now from the point 6 we will follow the same process take a measurement from 6 to A draw a circle again take a measurement of AB draw arc on a circle from the first arc second arc from the second arc draw third arc from the third draw fourth arc from the fourth it will close on a B now connect all the arcs similarly you can draw heptagon and octagon from the point 7 and point 8 give the numbering to all the points a b c here d e f g h i j k l give the numbering to all the polygons that you have generated like this draw a straight line write the entity name triangle for the square for the pentagon similarly for hexagon so by this method we can draw regular polygons the method name is universal method Thank you.